Greetings everyone, my name is Noble, and today is my first of hopefully many more lore videos discussing various locations, characters, and traditions in the Elder Scrolls Online. If lore or the Elder Scrolls is your thing, then I'd encourage you to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a single lore video. A quick disclaimer, ESO is where I got my start in the Elder Scrolls franchise, so I apologize if I don't pronounce everything correctly. Today's video we will be discussing Markarth and the Second Era, on theme with the year-end DLC for the Elder Scrolls Online. The city of Markarth is situated deep within the Reach, along the mountains that make up the border between Skyrim and High Rock. Markarth City is divided into two distinct districts, each separated by the large crag in the middle of the city. To the north is Dryside, which contains the Market Square, as well as residential homes, which were initially part of the Dwarven Ruin, before being repurposed by the locals. Dryside in and it of itself is divided, with both an upper and lower level. The lower level is more or less a path to the Understone Keep and the Temple of Debella, while the upper level contains more homes and even more of the local treasury. The south is the Riverside, which is a vast basin, essentially the industrial district of Markarth. The precipice between the keep and the riverside contain the city's smithy and other important places, like the local crypt and the Markarth ruins. There is an ornate temple on the highest peak of the crag that has been used for different deities. It has been used by the cult of Hercene during the Reach's occupation in the Second Era, whereas under the Third Empire, it contained the local chapter of the House of Debella. Underneath the crag are the slums of Markarth, known as the Warrens, which is a collapsed hallway with campfires bearing minimal light. Markarth's side is neighbored by several settlements, including Dragonbridge to the north and Snowhawk to the south. Streets descend downwards towards the smelter and the infamous Sinda Mine, which serves as the local prison. We are going to be talking about the Second Era, in this case, the despot of Markarth and the King of Worms. During the Interregnum, the city-state of Markarth was captured by the local Reachmen, led by Kadak, otherwise known as the Despot of Markarth. Markarth became the seat of power for an independent kingdom of Skyrim, amidst the schism between West Skyrim and the Old Holds. The Despot had issued a dictatorship across all the Reach, even communing with the Daedra and even powerful figures such as Minamarko and House Tharn. The Despot and the people of Markarth worshipped Hiracene, the Daedric Prince of the Hunt, circa 2E581, an imperial envoy escort named Flaccus Terentius was commissioned by Abner Tharn to document the provinces of Tamriel, and he stumbled upon Markarth, where he was imprisoned before he was sacrificed by Minamarko. If you're cutting your coins across Skyrim, you'll want to point your blade towards Markarth, the capital city of the Reach. There's no end of trouble in the City of Stone, and that means plenty of ways for you to earn your supper. Now for this portion of the video, I just want to talk about some of my favorite things about Markarth. One of those being I am absolutely obsessed with the way this city is built. I love how it's basically inside a cliff and the vertical nature of the city really gives it a somewhat unique feel that I can't really seem to put my finger on. If any of you are Star Wars fans, it reminds me somewhat of Utapau from episode three. Getting to take part in this area of Tamriel during the Markarth DLC has been one of my favorite things this entire year. The Barbaric Reachmen are a whole nother level in and of themselves, in my opinion. And due to the nature of the vertical city, there is so much to explore, and I cannot wait to actually go through very slowly to capture every little bit of detail and lore that hides within its walls.
So that, my friends, was a short little look into the latest DLC and the second era of Markarth here in the Elder Scrolls Online. If you found this video fun, enjoyable, you want to see more lore videos like this, as it being my first attempt, any kind of criticism, constructive or otherwise, is welcome. I hope to do these at least every other week, so I'll be looking for longer lore videos with a lot more detail and thought, but I wanted to get my hands dirty and see what I could come up with. Anyway, if you enjoyed, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so I can get this video out to as many Elder Scrolls Online players as possible. And and smash the like button so it pushes this video up in the YouTube search. But guys, it's going to do it for me. My name is Noble. Happy adventures in Tamriel. And I will see you guys in the next one.